Today I'm going to show you how to copy and paste a database citation into EasyBib. And just to get started, we're going to open Google Apps and we're just going to go to More and we're going to open EasyBib. Let's go to All Projects. Today we're going to be working in the Ahsoka project. And here's our bibliography. Okay, now we can go back to the high school page, open the database page. And typically you'll be prompted for a username and password. That username and password is the generic one for the high school. It's not your personal username and password. And it is on page 41 or so, I'm assuming, of your NCPS planner. And it's also on the QR codes all around the library and the high school. We're going to scroll down to one of our newer databases, Ancient and Medieval World by Marshall Cavendish, and we're going to sign in. And today we're going to look for articles on Ashoka, or Ahsoka, depending on which database. In this one, it's Ashoka. We have three choices. We have India for Civilizations of. And we're going to click on that. Now this is organized a little bit differently. It's not quite as linear as you are used to. So the citations are kind of broken up into little chunks. And it might be easier for you to navigate if you just use the article outline. And we want to go to Mauryan, India. And there you are. Now let's say we want to cite this. We're going to go to cite this, and we are going to copy this. Just copy. You can also use Control C on your keyboard or Command C if you are a Mac user. And we're going to go to our bibliography. And we're going to go to database. And we're going to choose copy and paste. Now we're going to come here and we're going to right click and paste. Now there's a couple of instructions here. It says use bracket U bracket to underline and bracket I bracket to italicize. One is the actual name of the database. So we're going to put that in there and then we have to close that. This is the HTML language to create italics and we're going to put the close italics there. So you have to do the slash. I close bracket. That's it. We're going to create the citation. Now it's added. Here's our citation. And we are already working in the Ahsoka project. If for any reason we had failed to identify what project we were working on, it would have gone straight to the bottom of all of your projects. And it would be down here. And then you would have to go into that bibliography item. You would check it and duplicate it to another project and choose the project you wanted to send it to right there and duplicate. I hope this helps.